With a quick sound like thunder, smoke flowed from the 27 engines of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy for the first time ever this afternoon. Tonight, founder Elon Musk says the biggest rocket since the Saturn V's that took the man to the moon is almost ready to take flight. News 6 reporter James Sparvero witnessed the test from Kennedy Space Center. What a rumble this afternoon. After two weeks of delays, including one caused by the government shutdown, the deed is done. SpaceX firing all 27 engines of the world's most powerful rocket. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweets, everything went well at 12.30 this afternoon. All 27 engines of the Falcon Heavy firing simultaneously at pad 39A for the first time. Quite the show today. It was quite spectacular. Bill Harwood of CBS News says today's ground shaking rumble created a much larger exhaust plume than a Falcon 9 rocket. He says it was louder too. Really a major milestone for SpaceX. We've watched them do this with single rockets before and you get a pretty good sized plume of exhaust, but this was really something. When you were watching, how could you tell that apparently everything looked fine? We thought before the test it was gonna run for 10 to 12 seconds somewhere in that ballpark and just unofficially guesstimating, it looked like it went full duration. They always said that they were trying to launch this rocket on its maiden flight in late January at the end of the month. Elon Musk tweeted that now he's looking at a launch sometime next week, so he's gonna be pretty close to that original target looks like. At the Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Before the heavy's first launch at KSC, SpaceX plans to launch a Falcon 9 from the Cape. That is set for January 30th. Keep up with all the upcoming launches and watch today's test fire again at clickorlando.com slash space.